Hello from Slovenia again. Uh, today I will do another split cup pour. I will use this six chamber split cup from paintpourstore.com. You can find the link and uh, the discount code into the description box of this video. Uh, and the colors that I will use will be mostly metallic except the oxide black by Amsterdam I will use Arteza bronze Pebeo iridescent silver, iridescent copper and iridescent gold just have to put my paints on the side that I will have space. And the last one is Iridescent Pearl by Abstract Senier, Senier, what is this brand? I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, and I'm working on 12 by uh, 16 inch canvas and of course I have it on my uh, cake spinner and I will just try to go like in a way of I don't know how to say that I will try to travel so it will be wandering straight pour so I will just fill those chambers this is pearl and gold. And copper. Uh, and black and silver Kind of slow. Look. shaking. Uh, and I will pour some black around for a flow extender. Maybe I can even keep some of the negative space, I don't know. We will see. Okay, 
dunk. Grab my skewer. Ah, not the skewer. <laughs> my palette knife. I will grab this little one just to marry this together. Otherwise it will still, you know, flow over. Uh, I just like to add uh, the flow extender because I want to keep as much of the pattern that I like. Uh, otherwise, if you would just stretch this, it's uh, you can likely lose some of the parts that you don't want. So. It's up to you, but I want to add some flow extender. Okay, kind of like that. And I have some cardboards here that will be as uh, used as my corner catchers so since the weight of the paint is right here I will go with this part first this side don't want to lose that okay and now I will just try to walk a little bit Corner back. I first uh, I will just cover the canvas and I will work on the composition later if needed. Wow, love this. So I just want to bring a little bit of this more towards the middle and tilt a little bit of this off. I just don't like this corner, so I will try to tilt a little bit of this off. And I have something in here that I have to take out. Just a second. that 
kun Just a little bit more because now this part is a little weird, I believe. I'm done. Wow, love it. And because of all the metallics, it will look just gorgeous. And I like uh, these brown, uh, black lines because they gave a depth into this painting, I believe like all the feathering i'm not a fan of this part here but you know how it is in fluid art if you are happy with 70 80 percent of your painting you should step off and that's it um wow love it and uh, i have quite some paints left amount of paint maybe i can try to switch uh, the colors how i layer them in this uh, split cup and do another pour and see the difference if what the difference will be and maybe even create you know a triptych with the same colors but different layering tell me what you think about this idea in the comments if you like to see that so as I said I'm happy so let me take you down for a close-up so here is the close-up wow just love those lines and those feathery look this is way my favorite part here love it and so many beautiful beautiful details and as I said it will be probably not probably definitely more beautiful when all those metallics will dry so tell me maybe if you want me <clears throat> sorry to do another one with different layering and show you the dry result of this one and go for a triptych this part is just amazing i'm happy love it tell me in the comments what you think and if you want me to do a triptych with same colors different layering and see you on the next one bye